All right, guys, this is going to be kind of in snippets. Um, but I'm going to show how you can make it. You can, it, it's a vegetarian, even a vegan. Um, this is a food processor. I just put cilantro in there, lots of it. And I'm going to put a jalapeno pepper in there. Well, I'm going to clip that off. Like I said, this will be snippets. You want to clip that for me? Um, we're going to be using tomatoes. We have the yellow. We have a red. Well, you'll see. This is a chocolate tomato. And this is a green tomato. It is ripe. We are going to have an assortment of tomatoes. There's onion cut up in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... You, you want to cut that into a couple of pieces or just slice it down the middle so it'll... Okay. As you guys see, we have... Let me see if you can see the cilantro in there. First thing I'm going to do... Hank King's one-handed helping me here. Um, I've got a thumb and a good finger, too. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. All right. He just cut the uh, jalapeno in and hand me the those. We'll put those in next. Stems. Sure. You don't want to cut them off. It's. I don't think the stems are going to hurt. Okay. Um, we're also using something else in this, which I just dropped. Is there a five-second rule? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you what we're putting in there. The dogs keep the floor pretty clean. Uh, we're going to be putting this in there. And um, this will be part of our... And this can be a, a vegan dish or um, vegetarian or even... I, I will be using some goat cheese on mine. So um, it depends on what which way you you know, ride on this, but um, the meat, the gist of this will be almonds, and I'm going to show you how to create a really good dish. So, um, hold on, I'm going to blend this. You don't want to hear this noise, I'm sure. Um, and then I have to use two hands, so hold on a minute, guys, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after I grind this up. Okay. Oh, we still have a leaf in it, but it'll be ground up again. Okay, so you have this kind of... Um, just a green yuck and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add tomatoes and onions to this and some Himalayan pink salt. I've already got the amount. I just, you'll see. I just kind of sprinkle some in here and that should be enough. I don't know if you guys saw how much. Alright, so hold on. I'm going to cut my tomatoes and put the onions in and blend it and I'll show you what it looks like kind of at the end and then I'm going to take it out but I need what's left over in this to, to blend my almonds up which will become a meat looking stuff. So hold on. Alright, I'm going to show you what it looks like before I blend it and this has got to, um, the onions at the bottom and these are all organic different varieties of tomatoes in this so everything in this is organic. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this because it's loud, and I will show you the finished product. And then what I'm going to do with the finished product, and actually there's a little more cilantro right here we can add. And, um, and then I'm going to show you what I do with the almonds. This is pretty awesome. Okay, this is the finished product, and it's kind of green, but you see the bits of the tomatoes and stuff. So, um... Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish this out, and I'm going to leave what's left over in this because I'm going to need it, and I'll show you why in a minute. So let me dish this out, and I'll show it to you in a dish. Okay, this is what, um, if you were to do this by hand, this would be called like a pico de gallo, except we used a little extra herb, something that's very healthy in it, and um, this is not heated in any way, so you're not going to get high off of it. Um, uh, avocado over there that is just to um, um, that'll be I'll show you later okay now what I wanted to show you is I'm leaving about this much let's see you can see down in the bottom of this and then I'm going to add some raw organic almonds and um, let's see my kitchen's a little bit messy and we're gonna put these in there and uh, I'm going to grind it up and show you what it looks like. I'll show you real quickly what it looks like in there. And then I'll grind it up. 
Okay, as you see, I've added the almonds, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grind them up with what is in here. That is, that'll flavor the almonds, and the almond will become like a meat. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Let me do this real quick, because it's rather noisy and kind of boring, and it only takes a second to do. So, hang on, guys. I'm not really good at doing cooking videos. All right. I started grinding it, and it's a little dry. So what I did is I added a little of the juice from the, what you would call, if you were to dice it up, um, a pico de gallo mixture with uh, special herbs in it, you know. They're legal here in this state. So I added a little more, and I'm going to mix it again, and then I'm going to put it in a, a dish and show you what you do. Hold on. And I should say non-cooking videos because there's nothing in this that's going to be heated up whatsoever. At this point, you can see um, this kind of has the texture of a meat, um, and it will be our meat. These will be put in a wrap, and I'm going to grate some cheese and cut up some avocado. Now, it's not that spicy, even though we did use this. This is actually pretty hot. That jalapeno was hot. Um, for me, now a lot of people can do habaneros and other things. I choose the jalapenos. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate some cheese and, um, and make a wrap and show you the finished product. I just wanted to show you how this, now it, it, look at it, it didn't look, this is, this is almonds. Um, well, I guess you're going to see me anyway. And I'm going to show you. Ah, mm. This, it doesn't taste like almonds, it's got a sweet, um, and kind of a bit hot and just wonderful flavor to it. So um, let me get this uh, wrapped up a little bit and get some. We, we use uh, raw cheese. I'll show you. We are using, um, this is uh, raw milk. This is not goats, okay. This is just raw cheddar. Um, so we are going to be using the raw cheese and I'm going to grate it up. Like I said, you could just use this in a wrap, put some of this, um, wrap this up. I did not make the wraps. These are really good organic wraps. I'm using the square ones, they're easier. And I will, I, what I can do is after I do this, I can put these in the refrigerator, wrap them up in some cellophane or something, and then you just grab one and go to eat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use some raw cheese and I'm going to cut up the avocado and I'm going to cut it up and cube it up and use spy, um, it on there too because avocado is just so good for you. It is just, it is good for you. So um, most of you know this. But this is, um, Kitty and I don't eat a lot of meat and we're trying to get farther and farther away from meat. And um, I like being creative and someone turned me on to this back when I had cancer. Uh, in the 90s and I had changed my diet and they were totally vegan and they juiced everything and I ate this although I did buy me some raw cheese and put on mine um, this is what they pretty much they ate all kind they had just superb recipes for everything um, I ate a lot of rice um, she she showed me how to you know even though she was a vegan how I could use rice and it actually just mixed the rice in this because um, I was trying to change the alkaline in my diet ate a lot of um, just fermented foods also because that helps change the alkaline and the cancer did go away. But anyway, meat is not a necessity. The protein is in the almonds here. And everything that's mixed in there right there would be enough um, with the cilantro and the tomatoes and, and the other stuff right there. That right there would be enough for your body to have all the requirements it needs for a day. You're getting everything, but we're going to add some other stuff. So bear with me and I'm going to put one together after I grate some cheese and show you how this is done. Okay, as you can see, uh, Kenny's been sampling this. He says it's very good. As you can see, and, and I know it's green, but uh, I put quite a bit on a wrap. One wrap should do you. Um, if you eat too. You're really pretty hungry. I'm going to show Kenny how he does his avocados. He's just marvelous here. And he will he will cut these in a little smaller size for me. This is a great little gadget. It just scoops everything out. Okay. Um, right now what I'm going to do 
is I also because this is not this this um, this meat and I call it almond meat is not that seasoned I go ahead and add a little more to make it have a, a very good flavor and um, I will show you after I put some on and then we'll the avocados on and there is raw cheese right there grated and um, well, well, just wait and see. See the, see the results. I see Sweet. the results there of him, and then I will cut. I will probably cube these up in little tiny pieces and sprinkle it on, and um, uh, just wait. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Slices. Okay, and yes, we did wash our hands. So, okay, under the pile of the avocado meat there, I have put some of the really smishy pico de gallo. There's avocado pieces and there is some raw cheese on the side and I'm going to do my very very best to wrap this. I'm not the greatest wrapper and uh, I could try though couldn't I? Let's see a wrap song. No. Wrapping dinner. So um, uh, give me a minute. Let me see what my end result is. Well now these are the big squares. You can use tortillas. These are kind of the square ones. As you can see, I did rip it a little bit, so um, you could probably eat it with a napkin wrapped around it. I'm going to go ahead and put cellophane on this, and, and with what we have left over, I'm going to make probably enough for me and Kenny to last a couple of days. To me, one of these completely fills me up if I even eat the whole thing. And I actually love this. And this is, I'm trying to show people that you don't need meat in your diet every day. Um, Sometimes in the morning, if I'm hungry, I'll eat an egg. We have chickens, and we have, I mean, I could just go get one from right out under the chicken's butt, so um, just not trying to gross anybody out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of these, wrap them up. Let's see how many we get out of this. Um, and hey, guys, you know, I know a lot of you people can't live without meat, but if you're trying to get healthy, try some alternative ideas. This is an excellent one. You're getting your protein, you're getting um, everything you need, and uh, we added that little extra special herb that some of you guys can't. And raw, I'm going to leave a documentary underneath this video for you to watch the documentary Leaf, L-E-A-F, on what the medicinal purposes are of just marijuana raw. It actually has more medicinal properties than when it's heated. It changes the whole structure of the of the medicine once it's heated. So, and you do not get high off of eating this. So I just want to leave that underneath. And um, so if if you are feeling bad and you're trying to change your lifestyle and you're tired of just eating beans and other things, um, this is something you may try. And it's not that expensive because, like I said, this meat. I actually made, um, I don't know what size bag it was, but this is quite a bit. You wrap it in, in foil, like I, or uh, not foil, but we use a saran wrap. A big old thing of it. Um, with my tea up there, I'm the bergamot uh, crazy person here. But anyway, so when you hear me guys saying I'm getting tea, we actually, Kenny, I'm, I'm going off topic, buys double bergamot earl gray and the stash brand um, because I am such a tea addict. Anyway, let me get these wrapped up. I'll show you the finished results and I'm probably going to eat one too now that it's made me hungry. Okay guys, so I ended up with um, four big ones and uh, we had a couple of tortillas in there and I wrapped them and I even made me a, a baby one over here which that's going to fill me completely up for the day. But here's the leftovers. And Kenny added everything to it. And this is the leftover, which would look like pico de gallo. Can I just dump this in here, Kenny? Uh, okay, well. Slap it back in the bowl. All right, now I'm going to show you what we do with this juice. Real quick. And there's some avocado pieces I'm just going to throw. You, uh, you want me to go first? What? I'm okay, this is what we do, and the rest will be mine. And mm hmm. Ah, um, that's it, part of the pico, is that juice, I think. Yeah, now what I will probably do is add all this, just kind of mix it and munch on this today. Unless Kenny wants to do something with that pico, I just throw it in here and we can put it in the fridge. 
Um, but uh, this is how many we got made. And like Kenny said, these are huge. So, I mean, you could eat one, you could cut this in half if you're hungry at lunch and eat the other half for dinner. And it's spicy, it's good, and it's good for you. And here are the smaller ones. And here is my baby one that I'm going to eat right now, and I'll be full. And um, I, I actually did this, was going to do this private for a friend, but I thought everybody should see this because it really is good, and it's very good for you. And I know, however, you can't use the medicinal herb in the raw form. I'm still going to, um, you can just do everything I did. And, and I just used a tiny bit of the... Um, Himalayan sea salt crystals, and you can see the minerals in these. I, I, I've been talking about this a lot. Um, you can see minerals. There's a little dark spots in this. Anyway, I'm going to get off this. Kenny's making, he's got some organic crackers over there. I see he's already going to consume this. Um, let's see. Yeah, a little snack. Yeah. All right, Kenny's having a little snack, and I'm going to upload this video and go outside and get some sun. Um, love all you guys and try to start eating healthier because food is our medicine and it is our fight against big pharma. So, and if you don't know what's in your meat, go a different route. Love you guys and I'm out of here.